Hi, I'm Robert Ranieri, and this is the painting that I made a couple of several years ago. It's called Nightingale Number no. Two, and the title actually allows a certain exploration because the nightingale is a, a bird that has a beautiful voice, and it can be used by poets as a as an image of their song, their aspirations, and for this artist here, I've found that it allows me to in invent certain forms, whether it's music, whether it's, or even music notation. Now over here, you can see there's a very dramatic yellow shield-like shape, and it can be seen as a full round shape like a, sh a shield of, of armor, or something like an opening into that warm yellow golden space with these forms that are floating within it or moving within it. So there's allowing, uh, it's allowing a kind of variety of brush stroke. And you can see up, right here, up here in the upper right hand corner, there's an exploration of, uh, let's say, the rate of speed. And when the brushes are changed, you can get a broad stroke, you can dapple it with a lot of quick hopping marks and then you can actually isolate forms and even trap, for example, there are three head-like forms here in this triangle. So there's a triangle here, and this whole form here is triangulated. So the triangle operates as a very coherent way of, of uh, developing the space, and having it unfold. There's even a triangulation here. If you see from the upper left, you have this V-shape, which goes down to this point here and back up. And it's actually, that's a larger triangle. So you have a triangle within a triangle. And then back up here again, since this is this bird-like form, which you see the tail here, there's a head-like form here and this very luminous dark blue black eye with flame. So it's a very dramatic expression of sound and of a forceful, say, defiant, uh, assertion of the power of the creative mind and the human spirit to see the wonder that just a few brush strokes can make. And of course, as the work develops, I say to myself, well, I, can I do that again? How did I do that? And so I can vary the rate of speed in which the paint is applied, smaller strokes, the little dabs here, for example, little notations, and then it is one surprising thing that I've noticed as I developed it. So in addition to this bird-like form, there's this form here. It could be the waistline of a tr massive tree trunk. So this form here is a kind of negative or a neutral area, more or less, and it can be seen to be a coherent solid form that comes forward toward the viewer or recedes and is behind all this other activity. So I found it a wonderful opportunity to let, let everything fly, if I can play on the bird itself. And so things are discovered during the course of the work, and some things that are gained and earned through exploration can be carried to the next work. So I thank you for visiting with us.